There's a new hero taking over for Tony Stark, and she also has her own name and identity. It's not Iron Woman. No. It's not Iron Maiden. Not even Iron Man anymore. Well, I mean, she's a girl. Yeah. Makes sense. Iron Heart. <laughs> Iron Heart. Yeah. So Wait, she's... that still says... Well, I mean, we're not there yet. Okay. On the bottom it says, <laughs> Riri Williams is Ironheart. And I'm going to mispronounce Riri Williams because it sounds like a little bit of a tongue twister to mm. me. Uh, but she is a, a young prodigy who's yeah. built the suit herself. Tony 15, Stark right? has stepped down. Yes. But like super college educated, mm. um, a child genius pr right. pretty much in the universe. And she's taking her own name, which is Ironheart. Ironheart. And it may sound... Kind of silly at first. It does a little bit to me. It sounds like a... A Sean Connery with a dragon movie. Dragon Heart. <laughs> <laughs> I did think of that too. <laughs> it made me think of the Iron Giant and Dragon ah. Heart, basically. Mm. Uh, but there is some reasoning behind this, and it's pretty solid. Iron Woman seemed old-fashioned to some. Iron Maiden looked like a legal nightmare. An Iron Heart, coined by Joe Quesada, after I told him my planned story for Riri, speaks not only to the soul of the character, but to the Iron Man franchise as a whole. Tony first put on the armor to save his heart. Riri puts it on for different reasons altogether, but still heart-related. When people see her story, you'll be amazed at how simple and brilliant Joe's suggestion was. Mm. Um, so we don't know her story really yet. We only know a little bit about her, that yeah. she's a prodigy, that she's going to be taking over, that she built the suit. I'm wondering what it is that has to do with heart related. Maybe it's less literal than Tony, yeah. where it's his beating heart. Yeah. Maybe she just has like minor palpitations, you know? Like. Oh, I meant like maybe it's something <laughs> to do with love. Oh, oh <laughs> I, hope, I certainly, I certainly love. hope not. Like I hope they don't introduce a strong female lead and then make her name. It doesn't need love. to be romance for love. Uh, I mean, okay. you could take a frozen route, and it could be your family. It could be <laughs> someone kind of estranged from you. You know. There's different kinds of love. It's yeah. romantic love. It's not the be all end all. It does have it does have an old timey feel to it though, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Like Iron Heart, the magnificent it girl sounds, genius. Sounds like a, a My Little Pony to me a little bit. <laughs> it kind of does I'm have Iron that. Iron Heart. It's a little I like am, a look arc at reactor. Look at cutie stamp. Cutie, is that what it's called? Uh, cutie, cutie mark. mark. <laughs> the arc reactor cutie mark is what I would. Yeah, I, would I mean, I've seen dem like people made uh, like demo versions of an Iron Man Little Pony. That's what I would imagine yeah. it is. I don't know. I, I'm stoked. I think yeah. this is a cool like change for the character. It makes sense that they like sort of handed it down to her. I kind of like the idea that she's just like a child prodigy that just sort of looked at the suit and said, "Oh yeah, I can do that," and is now she, Iron she Man. She can. Right? You know, it's pretty cool. I, I do like that we're seeing uh, different characters take on these mantles uh, that have been worn by one specific character for decades and decades. But it's it's. I like the way that they're taking the story-wise because it is a little bit experimental, right. but it's also interesting. And you know, you, we're looking at a lot of these characters are created in an age where there's right. no way we would have a girl wear the uh, Captain Marvel uniform, you know, and we wouldn't see Miles Morales be Spider-Man. But it shows that there is a connectivity and there is this bond and there's unity, and I like it. I like it a lot. I like Amadeus Cho as Hulk. I like that he's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't I haven't read much about him, but what I what I do like overall is they aren't diversifying simply for the sake of diversification, although that is an element of it. Mm -hmm. They are actually taking time and caring about these characters and crafting a story around them and a lore around them already, right? Like they're being very communicative with the public like this character is going to be thought out. It's not like they just are throwing it in there to be like, "Oh, look, we got representation now. It's Iron Man, it's a chick, she's black, it's it's great." You know, like it's like, "No, no, it's not about that." Right, she's a genius. She's going to have her own line. She's going to be her own character. She's got her own name, and that name will come from a source. It will. It will have a reason. It's not a just because mm -hmm. explanation. And I'm really into that. I think it it's shows really cool. a lot more thought, right. and I really like that. And it does show, you know, there are we as humans, we're all very similar, but we're also all really different, and that's okay. It's we still have this strong story coming out and this relatable story coming out, no matter who you are. I mean, a lot of people have already felt this way for years, but mm -hmm. we're seeing this come out in another way, and I like it. I like it a lot. Um, good job, Marvel. I don't know how to introduce any amount of controversy to this. I mean, some people have responded poorly to, for instance, to Zendaya being cast as Mary Jane, uh, but then we saw uh, the writer for Spider-Man uh, for since 2008 respond like yeah. if the only thing that matters about a character is her hair and skin color that character sucks Yeah, then they're so, doing something wrong. Yeah, pretty yep. much. So I think this is great. 
Yeah. Good job, Marvel. Go for Sorry, it. Sorry, I have yeah. nothing mean or controversial to say about it. Also, by the way, um, you don't lose the original character. No. Right? Like, those comics don't they're vanish from existence. They're not, right? those they're not previous erased. Movies they aren't suddenly exist. magnetized and all deleted. And they're all honored still. They're still there. They're still there. Go watch it. They're as just as strong in your memory as they always have been. Yep. Audience. What do you think of Ironheart? Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.